Twelve in a Box is a pretty underrated film. That's not to say that it's the most amazing film I've ever seen. It's not the most gripping or thrilling or the most funny. But I did thoroughly enjoy it. I've seen it a few times and it's so bonkers and really bizarre. But it's got a really good cast and everybody seems to work well together. And I love the plot. So this was released in 2007, directed and written by John McKenzie. And the description from IMDb is as follows. At a school reunion dinner in a remote country mansion, a dozen people are offered the chance to collect a million pounds each if they can stay on the estate, cut off from the outside world. I love that. Now, usually that sort of thing is the subject of a horror film because when they're staying inside this stately house, this stately home, things start to go wrong and it gets a little, I won't say scary, but there are potential threats. These are not, you know severe threats but they're things that are going to make them really want to leave and usually that would work with a horror film and you know outrageous things happen but this is hilariously funny well maybe not hilariously funny there are bits that i thought were really funny there were a few there are a few laugh out loud moments but for the most part it's warm and fuzzy it's very surprising it will keep you on your toes i don't think it's massively predictable and for me, what makes it the funniest is the star of the show, Miranda Hart. Now, I don't know if she was, if she's being marked, if it's being marketed as a, a Hart show. This was released in 2007. But for me, that's why I watched it. And that's, you know, one of the reasons why I loved it. She plays a character called Rachel. We do have um, a pretty good cast. I wasn't overly familiar with quite a few of the people in this, at least at the time when I watched it. But that doesn't make any difference. It's it's very well acted. Everybody seems to have really good comedic timing. Katie Wicks is in this, um, which is obviously lovely. That was another reason why I wanted to watch it, because I love her in, well, anything I've seen her in, but initially um, not going out. So for me, I think it's something that is very enjoyable, very bizarre, very unexpected, with a nice level of humour, good comedic timing, beautiful scenery, the, the, the house is lovely, it's a gorgeous location, and a fantastic premise. I love, I love that concept, I love that it works well as a comedy. It's a really good film. I'm not saying put it straight to the top of your watch list, but certainly I'd encourage you to, you know, see if you can find it. I don't, I don't know if it's online. I had the DVD, I'm, I think. It's been a long time now. Um, but it might be on Amazon Prime, actually. But I'd say if you can watch it, definitely do. It, it's good fun. I think it's a nice way to spend an hour and a half. And obviously Miranda Hart's brilliant. It is well written, well directed, well shot and pretty entertaining.